Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the process I go through. To narrow down what verses I'm going to journal in my Bible. I start with writing out one verse from each week from my Bible reading routine. So let's go! I like to have everything with me when I start, so I gather my supplies ahead of time. And I seem to always forget something anyway, but I'm trying. I'm going to be writing out verses from one verse from each week in August. Maggie Holmes is one of my favorite designers. I love everything she makes. And I got these stickers at the Dollar Tree. Heidi Swap is pretty high on that list too. And this is a combination of four Prima watercolor sets. And then I rearrange them in an order that I prefer. Daiso brushes for the win! <laughs> you know, Bible journaling doesn't have to be expensive and you don't have to use fancy supplies. Everything you need is probably in your house right now. I'm mixing my paint so that I can get a nice light wash in the background and it didn't quite really work because this paper really isn't watercolor paper but I'm trying and I'm okay with the end result. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to dry it with my hair dryer. Again, you don't need fancy heating tools. A hair dryer is good enough, or you can air, let it air dry if you have the time. Now we're ready to add the stickers. Now I'm going to start writing the verses down and while I'm writing these I'm thinking about the words and internalizing the meaning and really connecting to what God is telling me through these verses. So I'm ignoring the format of this weekly spread that's printed in the planner and I'm using it as a place to organize the weekly verses that I want to focus on.
Now for fun, I'm switching to a different color ink pen and I'm going to outline all the elements on the page. Okay, so back to that monthly spread. I left those boxes on the left and that's where I put the verses that I want to focus on that really spoke to me throughout the week. And so th I'm pulling those Bible verses out and those are what I'm writing down on my weekly spread. Okay, now for the last verse of the month. Now I'm deciding where I want to put that stamp. This teal colored ink from Illustrated Faith is from a really old kit, but I love it and so I'm going to use it until I can't anymore. And I'm using washi tape and I can't remember where I got it. And I forgot to, to set aside a stamp block for the stamp and so I'm using a ruler that I got at the Dollar Tree in a planner set. I tend to like um, using flexible stamp blocks for really big stamps because whenever I use a stiff one I get an uneven stamp and so if it's flexible then I have more control over how it stamps. I got those alpha stickers at the Dollar Tree. I'm kind of disappointed in them. I didn't realize they were going to be so shiny. But now they're down on the page and I'm going with it. It seems like whatever I do, no matter how hard I try to go fast with these things, I take about three hours for each project. And I think it's because I get caught up in 
thinking about what I'm reading and thinking about what I'm writing and how I want to allow it to change me and transform me. And so it just turns into three hours every time. But it's so funny to just watch it just speed by in this video. But really, it's not that easy. It's not quick. It's if if you're going to be intentional about allowing God and the Bible to transform you and make you a new person, it's going to take some time. There's no quick, easy fix. You can't just go buy supplies, a bunch of supplies everywhere and think that it's going to change your life. The real work starts when you internalize what you're reading and make a change. Okay, it's all done. And so in the next video, I'm going to show you how I choose a verse from this page and put it in a project. So I'll see you in the next video.